2019 Standard Edition. We're going to set up SQL Server. If I want to make changes to my uh, allow, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? Yes. My SQL Server is getting ready for installation. You always want to make sure to read and pay close attention to here. Now the planning, now the maintenance, click on the installation. And we have the ins new installation. Click on it. Click on new installation or features. All right. Let's wait. All right. This is the product update just to make sure that everything is up to date. Next. Insta setup, okay. Well, and this is the installation type. Do I want to perform new installation or just add to existing instance on my SQL Server? For the purpose of this video, we're going to add, um, we're going to perform new installation of SQL Server 2019. So we click on it. You can copy or print out the terms, but nobody read this anyway. You click on next. Right, these these are the features, the features selection, right? I already have pre-selected features here that is on my previous instance. But for this, we're just going to select maybe few database engine services and data quality services so far. We don't need R, Python, Java. We don't need all of this just for the purpose of this video. But based on the resources and based on the application that you will be running, you can select. If you'll be running R, you can select R, Python, or Java. But for this video, we're just going to select the features that is needed for this video. Click on Next. All right, so this is where the configuration, the instance configuration, we have two type of instance. We have the default instance and the name instance, right? So here I'm going to give the UAT, user accepting testing. So this is the name that I'm going to give to my instance here. I already have prob, def, and temp. So Click on next. We're just going to wait here for it to load. So this is where if you want to manually set up your server configuration or you want to go into the configuration manager to set up your configuration. I usually set my configuration here with the SQL Server agent is here. This, the startup, it should always be automatic. And then SQL Server database engine, of course, is automatic. And then SQL Server browser is uh, automatic, right? The collision, 
you really don't need that but you can customize that based on the work that you do for the purpose of this video we are just going to click on next right so this is the database engine configuration this this is where we were um, talking about the database security the file the storage and automatically uh provide password for you so you don't need a password for this which is most secure because the password is uh, constantly changing and then mix mode is where you provide your own password i'm going to provide my own password today's and right after adding your password if you need if you have a password or you can use window authentication mode right and then you add current user which is me this is me data directories this is where you direct your file where do you want to where do you want your data directory file to be where do you want your user database your log file your backup file so you just click on the icon here i already have my drive partition into these files so i click on my backup file expand and then you can add a new database in here right um this is tim how i can add a new file in there which is the uat that we just created and boom we are set so this path my backup file directory will be going into my backup folder in my computer right and then my log drive will go into my log so back up here and my log is e click on it I want to create a new one, right? The UAT we just created. Always want to have a good naming conventions. In case of disaster, you can locate your file very quick. So this is it. User database directory. I usually leave this on my main database, but for this, we're going to put it on my data draft for this purpose of this video. This is my data drive. I have so much in here y'all click on ms sql and uh, new folder uat you don't have to name all your folders if you don't want to name them just make sure to know where you have all your folders installed but easy retriever in case of disaster. So this is my data, because I just go back to my data, click on the data itself, MS SQL. You can increase this file, numbers of file, initial size is eight. I'm not going to increase it. And then the auto growth is 64. So it's always going to grow by 64. Every time my database is getting full, the file will grow by 64. So this is the initial size of my 10, 10 log file and my auto growth. And this is the directory of this log file. Apparently, we're going to change 
change the log file drag to the log. Okay, it's right there. And max up is the same as the CPU, the technological CPU core on my computer is eight. I have eight uh, memory. Default. For the purpose of this video, we're just going to leave everything. File shrink. You can enable this. Enable OS file shrink on. Uh, so this is the summary of the installation, the features that we are about to install on our SQL Server Management Studio. This is it, this is it, this is it, this is it, this is it. And click install. and the rest successful so now we're going to go to the configuration manager yes is sql server sql server configuration manager to make sure that our sql server agent are on so make sure that we turn that on so this is it let me move my mouse you can see the sql server browser is off UAT is stop. SQL Server agent is stop. So what we do here, we right click on it and just start. So we start this, we are going to give you a little bit of time to run. Let's go to properties here. The start mode here, you can start it here too, it's automatic um, here. And you can also check the path of the SQL Server. All right, and back to the login. Apply. And OK. The SQL Server UAT is running. SQL Server agent is running here. We will want to say it's on. SQL Server agent is actively running. Let's go to our SSMS and connect. So I'm already connected to my management studio, SQL Server management studio. Let's now connect to the new instance that we just installed on SQL Server. We're going to look for UAT. UAT is not here. Browse. Right click. Here it is. Show. And connect. So we installed our SQL Server successfully today. And we also checked our configuration manager to make sure that our SQL Server is running to turn it on. So 
service everything is already changed as this you can also change it but since we already did that doing the installation where you have to right here the start mode you can still go back to menu the previous one that we showed but we already did that with the installation so so far so good we did a successful installation today and let's create one database on this SQL Server on our new UAT. Right, let's create one. It's loading. We are going to call this UAT and default. You always want to use SA. Let's look at the file here, right? So this is the file that you can add. We have files, file groups, the primary file. You can add another file here, right? Add file groups. We have only one file groups. You can name one here, education. Right. We have the primary one and we have the education. We have zero file in here because we have not created any files. So now let's go ahead to create one file. Right. This is the file. Let's add one file to the file group the file group that we just created, education. So we're gonna put math. And select here the file group that you just created, education. The initial file. The initial size is eight. The other group is unlimited, 64 MB. Megabyte unlimited and the path here is UAT and the file name you can name the file here that we don't want to name the file but you can name the file if you want to and this is it you can add more files into the file group so now we have math input reading we want to add this to the education so it's done in this it was only one file so here it is one file and then go back to the math autograph and then you click on okay the file is created now So let's refresh and see the database that we just created. Here it is, UAT. So this is completely empty. We have nothing in here right now. We don't have no table, nothing. So thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video where we will. I will see you in my next video. I wanted to talk about security here user user role schema and asymmetric key certificates always on equator and database audit but we will do that in the next video thank you